Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make ackee and saltfish. For those of you who don't know what this dish is, it's a famous staple dish from the Jamaica Islands. So here I'm gonna walk you through all of what you will need to prepare this dish. Okay, here I have already a clean bunch of scallion. So we're gonna slice those up. I'm gonna also show you guys how to cut each of these vegetables for this dish. Here, I have half of a green pepper. That's all you're gonna be needing. I have a scotch bonnet pepper. Now with this, you can either use the whole thing by just dropping it in or slice it up. Me, I'm just gonna take a piece out of it because I don't like spice as much. And if you are the same, you're gonna also wanna do the same thing and also omit the seeds that are inside, which are the spiciest. You don't want that. And also here, I have a, a yellow pepper. I'm also gonna be using half of that. Here, a sweet red pepper. I'm gonna also be using half of that as well. Here I have a tomato. I'm gonna to be using half of this as well, but this one is kind of large. If you have smaller tomatoes, you're probably gonna to wanna to use two, depending on how you like them cut, but I'm gonna show you how they're supposed to be properly cut for this dish. And here, I have a sweet onion. You can use any kind of onion except red onion. Only, personally for me, because you don't want that purplish color to run off into your ackee and your fish because it's going to turn it a darker color and that's not going to look so pretty. So moving on, I have a one can of ackee rinsed. It was in a brine, so I wanted to get, you know, whatever that was off of it. Here I have some pimento berries. You don't need as much, but I just wanted to get enough out just to be safe. Some black pepper. This isn't measured out, it's just gonna be to taste and also, you know, for a pop of color. And also, this is some salt. And this is only going to be used if I cook all of my salt out of the fish because it has to be boiled out. So, if that happens, then I have, you know, some salt for backup. But here I have one package of salt fish. This is actually salt, salted codfish. I already rinsed the majority of the salt off because it was pretty thick, the crust of it. So that's it, guys. So now I'm going to get the fish into the pot so it can boil down for about 15 minutes just to get most of the salt off and to kind of tenderize it. Then I'll be back after that to show you how to cut each of these vegetables. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, so I have my pot ready with the water already in it. So I kind of warmed it up slightly, about a minute or two, just to get the water going. So I'm gonna just drop the fish pieces in. And you wanna have it on like a medium, medium low heat. You don't want it too hot because you don't want the fish to, you know, be overcooked because it's already basically cooked. You don't want it to be too tough. We're just doing this to remove the, the salt off of it so it isn't as salty in the dish. And the amount of water, it's not measured. I just did, you know, enough so it would be covering the fish. So, okay, I'm gonna let this go for about 15 to maybe 20 minutes. So let's get the vegetables cut up. Okay, so this is just some of the vegetables that we're going to be cutting up. Well, it's all of them, but half of a portion, except the, uh, the tomato and the onion because remember I said we're only gonna be using half of onion. So to start with, make sure that you have a, a knife that you are comfortable using. I'm gonna move slowly doing this because I want you guys to know how to do this properly. So basically the peppers are going to be julienned. If you don't know what that is, it's just a cut where you're just cutting straight down the middle and very, you know, very thin strips. Or it could be slightly thick. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you got your hands, your fingers, you see that? 
placed properly. There you go. You just want to cut down. Like I said, I'm not going to move fast because I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. And when you're doing it like this, the knife is going to hit you here. So you can't cut any of your, uh, your members off, which are your fingers. Got it? And there you go. So these are the type of strips you want for this dish. Okay? And you can cut them as thick or as thin as you like. Me, I have them like on a medium side. Okay, and the same thing with the red pepper. Same thing. Just like that. And make sure also to not cut them as thin because you don't want them to disappear in the dish. Even though they're not going to be cooking long, you don't want them to, you know, thin out any more than what they are. And there you have it. Julian red pepper. I know this one is kind of on the slender side, but it's all right. You're going to eat it anyway. Okay? This is what you want. Okay, let's do the green pepper, and I'll show you the tomato, scotch bonnet, onion, and the scallion. Got it? Whoa, green pepper. Now for the onion, you just want to have it already cut down the middle. I already removed the root and I removed the top. So just take this and slice it down the middle. And what you want is this type of cut. You just want to hold it just like this and just slice down the middle. You're going to get beautiful slices. See, just like that. It also makes the dish look, look prettier <laughs> when you have those type of cuts. Okay. So you guys got the idea of the onion cut. Okay. So remember what I said about the scotch bonnet. If you like spice, you can actually use the whole thing just drop it in there cut it down the middle and also make sure that you get the seeds in there but me i'm not doing that because i don't like spicy food as much so i'm just going to take like a piece from out of the middle okay and this will work good enough for me trust me it'll still have a kick but that will be quite enough okay let me move on to this tomato so this video doesn't have to be as long. Okay, so you wanna get yourself a paring knife and we're gonna just core out the center, well, the core of the, uh, the tomato. Oh, this one is giving me a hard time. There we go. You wanna just remove that. Now with this, just cut it down the middle. Same thing here. You're going to hold it just like you hold the, the onion, but not thin. You want some wedge type cuts about this size here. Okay. So that's what we're going to have with those. Again. 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 And again. And trust me, it's not going to look like this in a dish because it is going to cook down and break up a little. You're going to want to cut these to a medium size because it's going to cook down in the dish and you don't want to not see the tomato. So that's the way you cut those. And moving on to the scallion. Of course, you want to get rid of the root. Line that up. Run that down. And there you go. So an easier way to do this, and also don't do what I'm doing right here because you want to give yourself room when you're cutting things. Give yourself some space with these. See, that was an easier way to do it. Now you can cut them all at the same time. 
And if you got some knife skills, please be my guest and use them. But I'm going to use that probably in another video. But I want to move slowly in this one because I want you guys to see how these have to be cut. Okay? So it's just a rough cut. And this is what you'll get. And that's okay if they're, you know, a couple of them are bigger than the others. All right. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial of how to cut your vegetables. I'm going to get the rest of this done. And I'll come back when it's time to pull that fish out of the boiling water. And I'll show you guys how to flake that up. All right, guys. So I will be right back. Okay, so here's what your plate of cut vegetables should look like. Okay, you got your tomato, green pepper, red sweet pepper, yellow sweet pepper, onion, scallion, and one piece of scotch bonnet pepper. So let's take a look at this fish and we'll take it from there. So here's the fish and I just turned it off because it's completely done. The thicker your fish and the more salt you have, sometimes you can do this twice, but the type of fish that I had I only needed to do it once and you can also like break off a piece and taste your fish to make sure that it's not that salty because it's not supposed to be that salty. So I'm going to pour this water off of it and I'm going to rinse it and cool it down and I'll show you how to flake the fish. So I'll be right back. Okay so my fish has cooled down a bit just enough so I can handle it. So what you want to do is most of the time it'll still stay in a, in a whole piece. But what you want to do is you don't want to crumble it, you don't want to break it, and you don't want to cut it. Because when you cook it, it's just going to, you know, go into shreds and it'll, you know, look like that. And you don't want that. You don't want that. But we're going to use that piece. So you just want to pinch off like some pieces. Just like that and just let it go. And it's okay if it's in chunks because it might, you know, break up anyway. Or it might hold its its shape. See, that's all. It's not much work. Okay, so just pinch off a bit. Not really pinch like to mash. You just give it a little pressure and it should fall right off. You're just taking your thumb basically and moving it outwards. It's like that, and it should fall right off. And there you have it. So I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be right back when it's fully done, and we'll start the cooking process. Okay, so it's about that time to start this cooking process. All right, so what you want to do is hit your pan of choice with a little vegetable oil, maybe about a tablespoon. That should do. You can also use any type of oil of choice, but the most common used is coconut oil. All right, we're gonna let that warm up a bit. And firstly, you're gonna add your scotch bonnet pepper. Get that going. That's gonna create flavor. All right, so we don't want that to burn. So now I'm gonna go in with my vegetables that we cut up so nicely earlier. I'm gonna hold back on the scallion just for a few minutes. Get that going and let them cook down a bit. Somebody got a wet a yellow pepper. Okay, so with these, you don't want to cook them down. They don't have they're not supposed to be translucent. 
just leave them with a bit of crunch on them probably about five minutes so i'm gonna hit this with some black pepper and you can put as little or as much as you like me i'm a pepper fan so you already know the answer to what i'm gonna say as far as how much i'm gonna use all right that should do for now but we are gonna come back and add some more later for a minute or two more maybe about three more minutes for this so I'll be right back when it cooks a little bit more and we'll add the rest of the ingredients okay so this is what we should be looking like after about five to eight minutes into cooking the vegetables down Okay, so I'm gonna make a little well here. Actually, sorry, I'm gonna go in with the uh, the scallion. The reason why I'm adding them this late is because I don't want, I didn't want them to uh, cook down and turn, you know, like into a brownish color. I wanted to keep its color, so these are not gonna get cooked the way that the other vegetables did. Okay, so now we'll make our well. Uh, just want to make a small circle in the middle. I'm gonna go in with that saltfish that we broke up earlier. Time for that well, as promised. Just want to. Make a little hole in the middle. Now I'm going to be putting the Aki in. Now for the next layer of black pepper. It's like everything in this dish gets black pepper. But you could totally omit it. But this is the way it goes. One more hit. All right, now you definitely want to fold this in because you don't want to break up the Aki's as a whole. <clears throat> Whoa. Just fold and kind of like bring it back. But gently, you don't want to break it up. The Aki is already basically cooked. So you're just doing this part here to heat them. Because this is basically done. You just want the Aki to get warm. Look like we need a little more black pepper. And I didn't need to use the, uh, the salt. So I'm going to go in with a few pimento berries. Probably about six to eight. I'm gonna just make sure that they get in the bottom of the pan just to bring out that flavor. This is really what makes this dish have the uh, its authentic flavor. Just bury those boys in there. Fold. See the way the fish didn't break up? So guys, this is pretty much done. 
So there you have it. Aki and Saltfish. Made by Mr. NJS. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what you think of the video and some other things that you might like to learn or some things you might want to see me try. So until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.